Hi, Dean Crabb from C2 Solutions here. So here's an important question. How do you secure your business passwords? And more importantly, how do you secure the risk to your business when your employees come and go? So today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite tools is LastPass Enterprise. And I'm gonna give you a quick five minute deep dive in some of the features and how it can help your business. Now the setup for LastPass Enterprise is actually quite complex because of all the policies and structure in the back end to control the enterprise. Now we don't show you how to do that in this video, so if you'd like assistance with that then please contact us afterwards. The aim of this video is to give you a real world experience of the features and benefits of LastPass Enterprise and you don't really get the value of this until you get in there and start using it and see all the time saved in the business from people not having to remember passwords or find passwords or chase down who has that password. Okay, so instead they can just get on with their job. So let's just dive in and show you that goodness right now. So one of the first things that happens is you want to add a user into your business. So the add-in for LastPass comes up here in your browser and if you click it, you've got access to your vault, okay? And the vault shows you all the passwords that are within your business. If you go into the vault, I'll show you that. Here's all the passwords in your business. Obviously, I'm gonna obscure that. And you also have access to a sharing center, which is all the folders. So you can actually segregate the passwords in your business into folders and who can see them. Now, if you go into the admin console, and you can see here I've got a spare license and funnily enough I've just had a spare user start with me today. So I'm going to go into users and I'm going to create new user and I'm going to add in Mary at C2 Solutions. Oops, spell it right. Okay, and create that. Now that's added her into the, into the business and I can then go and add her to the folders I need to add her to. Okay, for her to get access to the passwords. So going back to here, you can actually see the users in your business and even who's got two-factor authentication and the strength of their passwords that they have. So you can actually enforce passwords to control that level of security on your business. Now, now that Mary's added to the business, I'm gonna add her into the finance team. So I'll just go into the user groups, go down to my finance team, which is here, go edit, go Mary, add her in, and there you go, Mary has now been successfully inducted into my business. Okay, so that took me about 30 seconds, and Mary now has access to all the passwords she needs to, to operate in her job. So now let's go and show you what it's like to add a password to the vault, and share it with other users. So here I'm gonna sign up, Mary's gonna sign up for um, Close.io, it's a CRM tool, gonna to click the trial, and you get this beautiful form fill tool, which I've pre-configured. And I'll fill it out with my details, but we'll make this for Mary. Okay, ignore the name, but that's her details, okay. And the form fill allows you to just pre-fill details as you go, and then I can generate a password. A nice secure password, I don't even have to remember it, it goes straight into my vault. So I'm gonna go use this password, save it as a new entry, and it's for Mary at C2, so I remember that. Okay, and it didn't pick up the username here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fill that out. Okay, and I'm gonna drop that into the finance team down here. Okay, now Sarah, Miss Mary has just saved her password directly into the finance team. Done. She can finish and now sign up for that trial and never have to remember that password again. Okay. Now you can see I've already made some attempts on this website up here. Okay. And up here, you can see here, there's five actual matching sites for this password. And if I click, you can see I've made two generated attempts. You never lose a password. And there's Bob, Dean, and Mary have all signed up and they've got access to that. I've got access to that, but Bob may have access to only his own password. Mary may have access to mine and hers, depending on what department they're in. Okay, so it's really, really easy to then go back and log into a website. In fact, let's go and do that. Let's log out. We'll go here, and this is how we're gonna log in again. So Mary's gonna log in, click, log in. Okay, that's how fast it is to get back into a website again. No fiddling around with passwords whatsoever. Now Mary, unfortunately, has just resigned. Really unfortunate, but we need to cut her out of the organization again. So let's go and remove her. So you can just jump down here into the admin console. 
go into users okay and here's Mary and I have two choices here I can remove her from the company which means she keeps her login details and all the things personally that were in her account or I can just delete her and that obliterates everything she had access to and removes her from the organization alternatively if you just want to take it take it carefully you can just disable her and take further action later but that immediately cuts them out from that second and they have no longer have access to the passwords in your business so we hope you've enjoyed this quick walk to a blast past enterprise and seeing the benefits to your business if you'd like assistance setting it up then please be in contact if you'd like more tech tips like this then please subscribe you'll find them below all the details on our website additionally give the video a like to give it a bit of a boost and be sure to share this with your friends and colleagues we look forward to seeing you next time